Uh, he he was uh, yeah two years younger than me. Yes. Uh huh. And uh, he was eighty uh, when he died. Mm-hmm. And he was blind. The, uh, he, he would have had the stroke first, yes. And he was sick for nine years, and he was a diabetic. And he broke his shoulder and his arm. He was blind, and I nursed him all for the nine years and looked after him. And the government nurses said that I gave him three more years of life. And I never regret one minute of it. Oh, he was a good patient. Gee, he was too. Oh, yes, he lived in Winnipeg, and he was a uh, skating teacher. He taught uh, sk- ice skating. Yes, yes. And uh, and uh, as I say, he took a book, bookkeeper's course, or whatever they call it. And um, he, um, he worked in a, a man's clothing store in Calgary during the 30s. He, when we were married, he went there six months a year, to work, and then he came back to Vancouver and got what he could in the hungry thirties. That was every year, for years. No, 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 because I had Peggy and uh, not Bobby until six years, ten years later. No, no, I uh, had somebody coming this Wednesday. I always had somebody living there. We had. Uh, So we always had somebody in the house. Always had somebody staying with us. And they nearly all called me either grandmother or mother. The boy that stayed with us, that's an underwriter, Lloyd Williams, he called me mother. I got cards from him and it was mother. Yeah. No, he, uh, his mother had four boys and she had club feet. And as they grew up, he was the youngest, and uh, he was a fr- was a friend of our sons. So he came to stay for a week, and but he used to go home and see his mother. But uh, we had an extra bedroom, so you see why your mother entertained so much and everything but she has your dad as different kind that's part of his work but all our house was always full of people oh uh, the doctors told me that that's what made me uh, hypertension I moved worked raised a family and took in all the extras and it was too much for so many years I couldn't quiet down and uh, so uh, my doctor told me when I was 72, he thought it was time I settled up. So I did. And then I did nine years nursing grandpa. And uh, I'm now 85. And I'm really settled down. Oh, yes. And I go uh, uh, to a club with my friend, Marge. And uh, we um, and I go to uh, out to lunch with her. And uh, I go to Simpson's here. And once a month, I take a taxi and get a great big grocery order. Because Peggy can't carry much up the stairs, and she will not use the elevator. Oh, no, no. Peggy won't go and park at the front. She, we got a parking place down the back. She parks there and will not go up in the elevator. No. She just doesn't like the people. Uh-huh. I don't know why, but she you can't get her to. She's behind that wheel. She will not. No, and she's got a key to the back door, to the door. She don't want one to the front, just to the back. She won't use it even if she has one to the front. Yet she'll ride in elevators. Yeah.
Uh, no, no. Uh, Leo's family died, but he never, after he was um, confirmed, he decided they put him in the leathers, the uh, velvet suit with a white Panama hat. He never went inside the Catholic Church again. Although your grandmother was married in the Catholic Church. And uh, because uh, Joe was a Catholic family, you see, so uh, Betty, yeah, but uh, Peggy went to the Catholic school, but oh, they were wonderful. Oh, they were wonderful. No, it was uh, so wonderful, and she was so happy there. No, Peggy did right from the first, and she loved it. Yes, she goes to them. She doesn't tell Norman, but she often goes to them. Church, I think. Don't talk.